Hello fans, King of the Geeks, and this week I was going to do Lord of the Rings, but discovered something amazing. Minecraft is updated to 1.8. As you can see behind me, the trees have actually grown amazing, but that's not it. We also have all this. Just heads up, none of this, none of this is mods. Natural, no Minecraft. We have new items like diorite, polished diorite, andesite, and polished andesite. And as you can see, these are basically decoration blocks commonly found in the ground, kind of like gravel and such. And now each type of wood can be made into a different door. You have acacia wood, jungle wood, birch wood, dark oak, and spruce. In Minecraft we also have banners now of many colors. And armor stand. Perfect for all your different type, types of armor. Also, there's water temples, but since I wasn't able to find one, I just gathered the materials. You have prismarine, prismarine bricks. Dark Prismarine, Sea Lantern, also we have Red Sandstone, Chiseled Red Sandstone, Smooth Red Sandstone, Red Sandstone Stairs, and Red stand Sandstone Slabs. And here's some other stuff. Grab these real quick. Also, in the sea area, or I believe, we have, well, new creatures like guardians, which I believe are going to be in the water area. Oh well. Huh. Look at that. I guess I'm being creative. Yep. There's guardians. Also, we have Endermite. And rabbits. It was cool. For you know how blocks were simple decoration blocks. Now they absorb water again, and you get wet sponge. And, yeah, from rabbits you can get rabbit hide, rabbit foot, cooked rabbit, raw rabbit, you can make rabbit stew, and carrots can be used in order to, like, breed them, that's the word, okay. And with rabbits you can also make such, like, 
jump boost. Yep. And a tip. When you're doing potions, I've learned it's best to throw them straight up in the air and into your face. Because it actually gives you more potion time with the potion. So this is jump post potion. And to end it off, game mode 3. A nice new thing. It's basically creative mode without destroying. Plus, this is a cool feature. That's for when you want to figure out where a dungeon is without having to explore the caves. Well, that's all for this week. See you later, fans. Live geeky.